What's up guys, it's Faith Chafe here, and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we have for you another insane trading method to help you make a ton of coins on FIVA 20. So if you are enjoying the content, please subscribe. Over 85% of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed. It helps me out a ton, and you'll be entered into the FIFA points giveaway that I'm going to be doing at 1,000 subscribers. So with that said, let's jump right into this trading method. First, I want to show you guys the SPC that kind of makes it possible. So today they dropped a couple UCL based things. First, you have the under the cosh SBC that you just need kind of different leagues, different nations, and you need a mini minimum one Champions League rare. And then the next one is the throwback UCL marquee matchups. And this one you need three UCL cards and this one you need two rares. So basically this trading method, if you can't guess, is going to be based around these UCL cards. So there's a bunch of different ways to do this. I put up a sniping filters video, what will be yesterday for you guys. So I want to show you that first of all, these UCL cards, they're going to sell 1300, 1200 minimum right now at the time I'm doing this video. So I'm going to say 1300, these are going to sell for. So what I've been doing is I've been going to the bids here and I've just been mass bidding on all these cards. And as you might be able to guess, the, uh, the rare ones are going to go for quite a few more coins than the non-rare ones, but basically I'm just going through bidding on every single card that's under a thousand coins here and just trying to pick up as many as possible. So higher rated ones will go for more coins. Uh, any card that's rare or and from a good league will go from will go for more coins. It's just kind of dependent on the card, but you're going to be able to pick up a lot of these guys like to rob from weird nations, weird leagues. For pretty cheap because nobody's gonna be bidding on them or, or anything you're gonna be able to sell them on so as you can see I did pick up some off-camera just to show you that I have been able to pick these up for a decent amount here uh, don't want to miss these bids someone else bidding on these as well we're gonna get Seferovich for 650 there so basically guys the idea here is the mass bid on these and I just kind of want to check prices with you and show you that we are picking these guys up for pretty cheap and then we're gonna sell them on for a good amount as well Hopefully we can get this care here because he's going to be a good example of a card that is going to go for a bit more because he's a rare. I do want to get him and he's a, a German from PSG. So he's a really good one for us. So we're just kind of, we're going to put one more bid down on him. Okay. So nobody bid on him there. So someone like Uba Meccano that I won for a thousand coins is a great one. So basically I'm going to come over here to the transfer market and I'm going to check someone like Upa Meccano here. I'm going to set his quality to special. Let's see how what much he goes for here. So under 3k here, but we are going to make some good profit still. We bought him for a thousand coins, keep in mind, and he's selling. We're going to list ours 2,500. It's nice to list these guys a bit cheaper than what they go for, just because there's not always a ton of people searching to buy these cards. And these SBCs do expire soon, so you want to make sure you're offloading these cards quickly. So basically, the first one here, we have Upa Meccano. We bought him for a thousand. We're going to sell him 2,500, 1,500 coins profit there. Next one after that, if we go to Care here, uh, let's see what his price is. We got him for like 1,500 there. So if we skip to the end of the hour here, someone's price fixing him there. It looks like. But if we go to the end here. Um, it looks like we're going to be able to sell him 2,000 coins easily, maybe 2,200. Um, so I think I'm going to list mine 2,000, 2,100 to make sure he sells here. So we're going to make 800 coins off of him. We got him for 1,300. Next, we might move to someone like Seferovic from a weird league and stuff. But we got him for like 650 coins. One of them we got for 650. So if we check his price here, uh, we're going to skip to the end of the hour here just to show you guys. Uh, he's going about... 1500 coins it's looking like so i'm gonna underlist him here probably gonna list him 14 there so we bought him for 650 sell for 1400 make 750 coins there this one will list 13 just kind of mix up the prices there so basically we're picking up all these guys on bid for super cheap because a lot of people don't really pay attention to these guys so they go nice and cheap here and we know they go a minimum of 730 and rares are always going to go a bit more like this guy martinez here he is a rare one. And then Ulrich here, I know is a bit cheaper. He's about 1,900. I was trading with him. So we got him 1,500 there. Not a bad price at all. So we do win a couple more cards here. We win some good ones as well. Trippier and Candreva. Candreva for 650 is a great buy for us. So if I go ahead over here and I search Trippier, let's see how much he's going for. Um, wow, he's a lot cheaper than I thought he was, but we're still going to make good profit on him here. 
So Trippier, we're going to be able to sell in 1700 And then let's check Candreva's price here. So 17 for Trippier. Candreva, uh, 18 So we'll give 17 and 18 for these guys. Let's see what we bought them for again here. So Trippier, we got 1300 Sell them for 1700 400 coins profit there. And then Candreva... We're going to list 1800 and we got it for 650 so nearly 1200 coin profit there. So again, it's just really easy to get these guys on bid. Now, you're able to snipe these as well, but it's kind of more difficult to snipe them. Not a, people, not a lot of people are listing them for super cheap, but if you were to snipe them, you would just set your filter here, 1,000 coins, and go to special. Now, I'm on really late at night, so I doubt I'm going to see any cards here sniping, but we can try it for a second here, see if we see anything. But the nice thing about this is you can see any Champions League card on the entire game. Doesn't matter the league, the nation. So personally, this would be my favorite filter. You can always break it up into like Premier League, the Bundesliga, the Italian League, and then bump the price up a bit because those are going to be more expensive. But this is also a very good method because you're going to see a lot of cards pop here when you're on at a good time. But for me right now, it's like 1 a.m. my time, so nobody's on the game. But basically, guys, the key here is the bidding. I want to show you guys again just kind of one more round here. Oh, my goodness. Nobody's bidding on these. If we get these Atletico Madrid guys, come on, EA. Get your servers going. Oh, let's do that glitch thing where nobody's bidding on it. But it says someone has. Here we go. Oh, my God. And now those guys disappeared. Can we get some bids down here? Okay, there we go. Now, it's, now our bids are registering. It looks like someone is doing the same method as me right now. Which is a bit annoying when it comes to bidding when someone's doing the same thing as you but i'm gonna hope we can get some of these cards here we are getting the we're getting a lot of these in at the minimum bid which is insane oh messed that up a couple times there here we go go up to the bid here now some of these are still really good links so we would be able to bid a bit more on these if we wanted to but i'm just going to go through and put min bids on all of these and then we're going to go over to our uh our transfer targets and see what we were able to pick up now we're not going to win a ton of cards most likely it's just about getting some cards here getting as many bids down as possible and then hopefully winning some of them it's not about kind of winning every single bid so i'm probably going to put just a few more bids down here and then go check what we did get here uh We'll go to the end of this page, I guess. Two minutes left on all of these. Let's see what we've gotten as well in our transfer targets. I feel like we may have gotten like five cards out of this. Hopefully five would be a good return on it. Looks like we may have gotten more. So we already got four. And all of these guys we would go a bit more on. More on. <laughs> nice. Uh, here we go. We're going to go Muriel here. We're going to keep bidding on. We're going to make sure when I come back over here, I am willing to bid more on all these guys. So I am going to throw down more bids on them. Again, there's going to be other people bidding on them as well. So it's just, it's going to be a little bit annoying with all the people bidding on them. But if you do want to make coins, you are going to have to go through again on all these and put down all these bids. I'm just kind of keeping updated with all your bids and whatnot. Knowing your prices is key to this. But as you can see, we're going to win a lot of these here, it's looking like. Now, I don't want to go for anyone with over a 1,000 coins, really. I'm not too interested in that. Now, the Premier League guys do go for a lot more. And kind of just like popular guys in general, and like the Germans in the Bundesliga, they'll go for a lot more. Italians in the, uh, the Serie A will go for more. But as you can see, we want a ton of cards here. So I want to kind of go through some of these and show you guys the profit we're going to be making on these. So we won 13 items already. Tadic is an 84 is going to be a great one. I'm guessing he's a little above 2k here. Let's see what he's going for. Looking like it's going to be about two and a half here. I'm going to list him 2.3 here. Bottom for 1100, so we're going to make 1200 coins there. Savage here will be a great one for us. I'm guessing he's about 1900 if I had to just throw something out there. So I'm just going to kind of list him up. We're just going to, it's just kind of putting these guys out there. So 1200 coins profit there. He's gonna, Mario's gonna be a bit cheaper, probably about 1,500, so 800 coins profit there. Uh, Feguli is a rare, but bad league, so we'll go 1,600, bottom for 650. Muriel, decent league here, uh, looks like he's gonna be about 
27 maybe. We'll list him 25 with 2100 bid. We got him for 900 there. Gabrielle here, bad league, but good nation. Got him for 650. I'm gonna list him like 2K, 1200 bid. Samaras here, not a great league, but a good club in the league in Benfica. Uh, Seferovic, we know is one of those minimum guys basically, so we're gonna go 1500 on him. Moses here, pretty cheap one. We're gonna go about 1700 on him, got him for 750. As you can see, we're making nearly a thousand coins a card here, which is unreal. We're gonna go 1600 on him. Might be a bit high, but he is a rare card, so that will help us out in selling him. This guy, German from the Italian League, will go 2100 definitely. Uh, this guy's gonna be dirt cheap, I'm guessing. Uh, he's a bit more than I thought. We'll go, we'll bump that down a bit. We'll go 1700 for him, 1100 bid. And then lastly, we have Ashley Young, who will be quite a good one here. We'll go 2000 on him. Got him for 950 there. So let's just kind of go through and see what sold as well. Obviously, we're picking up more cards here. So everything is kind of gone that we've bid on. Obviously not winning everything. But as I said, the key to this is just winning, winning some of these cards and being consistent with your bidding. It's just about getting the most bids down possible, getting as many down as quickly as you can. Now, I do want to see on our transfer list what is sold so far. Sometimes these take a bit to sell, but if you're kind of listing them a bit lower like I am, then you're going to get some more coins quicker. So let's go see what's sold here. 12 items have sold. I do have a lot of things on my transfer list, but a lot of these dudes have sold here. So we are making some good profit here. About a thousand coins a card for most of these, which is insane the amount of coins we're making. So guys, that's the method here. Basically, you're going to check your min price for all the special cards here, these Champions League cards. And then you're going to go through and you're just going to mass bid on all of them. And then you're just going to relist them up for a ton of coins because not a lot of people bidding on these. It's really easy to make coins. As you can see, I was making nearly a thousand coins a card here. Super easy method. So if you guys did enjoy this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to be entered in the giveaway I'm going to be doing. And I'll catch you in the next video.